Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld, and I'm here with an illustrious panel of um, experts, advisors, and inventors who are be talking today about the new neural phone developed by Patrick Flanagan and J.J. Hurtock has been researching brain technology. Desiree Hurtock is an environmentalist in the College of Brain um, kind of researcher, and of course Stephanie Sutton, who's been working with Patrick for a long, a fifteen, some sixteen years. So let's talk about um, well, J.J. Your associations with Patrick back um, ten back in the years late sixties, early seventies. Yeah. I heard of. Pat's background, I've worked with uh, various uh, inventors, composers that began to use biofeedback. And when I was teaching at the University of California with Morton Sabotnik, the father of the first electronic symphony, mm -hmm. we used the, uh, certain techniques of using a brainwave connection with an oscilloscope, showing how the brainwaves could actually shape geometries. We later connected this with the bukula with musical instruments, showing that there was an inner connection of hearing. And Patrick was the first really to develop the, the ultimate tool that would allow the raising of consciousness as well as the, shall we say, respatialization of how the mind could work with ultrasonic frequencies. That's right. Right. Yes. Dr. Hurtek used to teach a class called Alpha Projection, and the idea was to get into that alpha state of consciousness, which is really a, a meditative state. Of course, there's other states as well, like the theta, which is much more uh, intense. And, you know, there used to be machines that you could hook you up and see what frequency you were at, but what PATS does, which is so exciting, is it actually gets you into those frequencies and helps you learn. Another thing w regarding Dr. Hurtak, he, he used to say how important it was to merge the right and left hemisphere together, because normally they're really split. People are creative, or people are intellectual, and merging it together is really important. It's, it, it's a technique I think meditation actually helps us do. And Patrick's device also helps with that. So this is really exciting. You have a device that can do all this, and it's going to come in a very small package we can all enjoy. I work with the Buddhist scholar, Dr. Tian yes. from Vietnam, and we compared studies on Buddhist uh, biofeedback using mantras and sound techniques with biofeedback itself. And nothing really came close to your work. And this was later referenced to me by other colleagues, such as Dr. Lawrence and Dr. Andre Puharic, who had 16 patents for ear uh, mechanisms of hearing. Uh, later I found out really that this was a technology that was basically based upon your work, not like knowledge. And so I think the world audience needs to know <laughs> with your new neurophone that you were the father of all fathers in terms of getting really the, uh, the neurophone that was going to open up the cosmic sound.